Residents in the southern Turkish province of Hatay claim the chemical weapons used in an August attack in Syria's capital Damascus were used by al-Qaeda-linked al-Nusra Front insurgents and not the Syrian government. Farid Maini, a Hatay resident and an activist, himself told me those chemicals were sent to Syria from Turkey. America and Israel had al Qaeda use chemical weapons in order to push us into war. None of us won war here. In the history of Hatay, we all lived peacefully side by side. Now there is Mossad, CIA, al Qaeda all over the place. We are worried they might also use chemical weapons against us. The reason the Turkish government is allowing the transfer of weapons, residents believe, is because they are trying to create a pretext, or what is also known as a false flag operation, in order to wage war on its neighbor, Syria. Four months ago, Turkish security forces found a 2 kg cylinder with sarin gas after searching the homes of Syrian militants from the Al-Qaeda and Al-Nusra. They are using our borders to take the gas into Syria. The Syrian president has no reason to kill his own people. The U.S. claims the chemical attack that took place in the Syrian capital Damascus on August 21st claimed 1,429 lives. Meanwhile, foreign-backed militants continue to operate freely in Turkey's Bab el Hawa international border crossing using ambulances and trucks with labels of major NGOs to get around with no delay. This is the international Bab el Hawa border crossing between Turkey and Syria. This point has gained infamy for allowing through members of Al-Qaeda, including the Al-Nusra Front. People living in this area have told me they believe the chemical weapons used on the August 21st attack in Damascus, Syria, were sent in through this crossing. Serena Shim, Press TV, Hatay, Turkey.